going on guys? Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Let's talk about dealing with customers that don't pick up their dog poop in their property uh, before you show up to mow. Now, what we do in our company is we will text our customers the day prior, the ones that we know that have dogs, and basically we'll say something to the fact that, hey listen, tomorrow is your service date, Remember to pick up your dog poop, dog toys, kid toys, etc. Fine. If we show up and there's dog poop, um, what I've done if, uh, in the past is, you know, sometimes, you know, depending on how big it is, I, I've run it over um, and then use the uh, customer hose and clean it off. Um, I've uh, went around it and left, you know, left the grass high and that's particular situation and basically told you know text the customer and say listen uh, I didn't I didn't run over dog poop and I tell them why I don't run over dog poop simple as that and um, and, and I've, I've had situations where you know I just completely didn't mow the backyard because it was too much uh, dog poop in the property and um, and you know, just told him, hey, listen, you know, we'll, we'll come back on the next service visit, and and not making any special trips, because again, I text you and I told you, and you decided not to pick it up, so therefore I'm not gonna mow it. And if you know, I've I've never been let go by a customer because I didn't mow due to dog poop. I've 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 kind of stopped service and just kind of you know not fired but you know stop service to a customer that you know um, they weren't too happy with the dog poop situation and you know I mean life goes on you know but again I am establishing my business to the point where I can do that you know what I mean so I need to know from you guys what are your protocols when it comes to dealing with dog poop now let me let me say this some of you guys may say, ah, no big deal, I just run it over. Now, if you run over the dog poop and you don't wash your equipment before you leave that, that particular property, now you're dealing with dog poop on your tires and under your deck, and you're going to take that mower and put it inside, and God forbid you have an enclosed trailer, and it's the middle of the summer. It's going to stink. <laughs> I mean, it... <laughs> There's no ear from bus about it. It's, it's going to stink. Um, and then next thing, you know, you're taking this dog poop to someone else's property, and there are, um, you don't know if the, the dog where you left from have uh, some sort of parasite or worms or, or some disease, and here you are taking that to some other customer's property. So, you know, you gotta kind of be careful about that. Um, and then, you know, you have the ones that'll say, hey, listen, I just go around it, and it is what it is, you know, and if, if hey, if the customer don't like it, they can find somebody else, because I tell you what, the customer will find somebody who is willing to ride over the stuff and just mulch it up, you know, some of you guys don't care, and I understand that, you know, but, but you just gotta, you know, you know, to each his own, that's what I would say, to each his own, but I need to know from you guys, what is your protocol when it comes to dog poop? Um, I've, I've read uh, that some of you guys will not take on customers that have dogs. Um, I have a lot of customers that have dogs, and they are, you know, they, they, they pick up the dog poop. I have no issues. You know, as long as you as you tell the customer and you, you talk to the customer, then you you, you, you you're not gonna have a, an issue. I I've, I've done that many a times where, you know, they forget here and there, and, you know, I, I remind them, hey, listen, I, I can't take this, I can't do the yard, and they understood, and I, I had no issues, you know, because it's not fair for them to just automatically think that I can just, you know, roll over it and take it with me, it's just, you just don't do it, you know what I mean, so, again, guys, give me your protocol and let me know what you guys do in your business when it comes to dealing with dog poop. Um, and for you guys that are wondering, this is the uh, DeWalt X548 stand on mower. 
So uh, I have it for, you know, I don't know until when, but <laughs> I'm going to use the heck out of it. Awesome, awesome, pretty uh, maneuverable mower. But yeah, guys, let me know how you deal with this situation. Put in a comment below and come back to the video, guys, and read the comments because, you know, professionals leave professional comments. And, and for you guys that are starting out in the business, you can read and see what is the, uh, I guess, you know, what, what most people are doing. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, it is up to you. It is your business. And you will tolerate what you want to tolerate. All right? Don't forget. Leave it in the comments. Have a great one, guys. Peace.